How much yeast is really enough for your mead or your wine? The short answer is you need generally a one-to-one -one ratio, meaning one gallon of mead or wine is needing one gram of yeast. This is, however, only really important for normal ABV wines, meads. So that 10 to like 14 range is, quote, a normal, or let's say 8 to like 13 range is like your normal wine to mead range. In that certain ABV range, that yeast can thrive. One gram can comfortably chew through probably all of those sugars and they can reproduce well. However, there are some stipulations for when you should add more yeast and when you need more yeast. So our one-to-one -one ratio is only taking us so far. If you are making a high gravity slash ABV uh, mead or wine, you might need more yeast. Now, I'm not gonna talk about yeast nutrient today. I'm only talking about specifically the yeast. In the, for me, the one point, let's say one zero, um, starting gravity range, original gravity range, to anything above, you are starting to make a mead that is uh, high gravity. High gravity meads have greater needs. They have a, um, a bigger battle to fight. I compare it to like a, an actual army. If you're going into battle and you know that you're fighting a bigger army, you want a bigger army for your own. So instead of the one to one ratio that you would use for your standard mead strength, if you're making a high gravity mead strength to me, 1.100, 1.110, sorry, to anything above, you want to maybe double to uh, add 50% of your yeast. So instead of one gram, you might add 1.5 grams to that. If you're getting into the extreme ranges where you are making something that is very, very high uh, gravity, starting gravity, 1.150, which is, I mean, huge. That thing is somewhere around 20%. You're gonna need to add, if you're using a gallon of mead, probably at least two grams of yeast, if not more. Lots of people will just go ahead and dump in a whole Lauvin packet or whole yeast packet into their brew. And those generally come in five grams. You don't need to use five grams for a gallon. Is it helpful? In some ways, yes. But you don't really need all of that. You can actually save money by using less yeast. So what I'm trying to say here is lower ABV things like 1.110 starting gravity and below um, can use a one-to-one -one ratio. This will save you money. Anything above, you know, add 50% of your value, add 100% so you have more army to combat. If you don't do this, here are some disclaimers. Your, the likelihood of your yeast being stressed as they try to reproduce and chew through the sugars that are there uh, is much higher if they are fighting a bigger battle than they can handle. And you want to eliminate that problem. Again, not talking about yeast nutrient, specifically talking about yeast alone here. Are there certain strains of yeast that are meant for high gravity, that are just like bombs in themselves, that can chew through things, who don't really need more yeast? Yes, but it's okay to add some more to help them. When you start to get to your multiples, let's say you're making a six gallon mead and you have uh, a starting gravity of 1.130, which is in that high gravity range, in my opinion, you are going to want to add 1.5 grams of yeast for every single gallon. So that is almost two yeast packets. Some, of, some people are gonna look at this and go, that's insane, just use one packet, it'll survive. Yes, but that is a really high gravity. And in my opinion, there's a lot of stress that could happen. You don't want your brew to be stressed. You don't want your yeast to be stressed. Now I'm gonna put a big like slash here. If you are properly aiding your fermentation, meaning you are adding yeast nutrient to your brew, you can get away with one gram per gallon. Generally at any ABV range. 
And that's because yeast nutrient will aid in the fermentation. It will help the yeast feel less stressed. And I think that's important. If you don't want to use yeast nutrient, store-bought or whatever, um, that's fine. But yeast nutrient is that kind of middle ground. So that's my opinion. Normal ABV means 1.110 down, one gram per one gallon. And anything above that, go ahead and add 50%, 1.5 grams for every gallon. Let me know what you think down below. You might not agree, that's okay, but uh, we wanna have healthy fermentations. You want your battles to be quick. You want them to be effective. You don't wanna be on the side of a losing battle in your mead making or wine making experience. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Cheers. Thank you.